So we have some multiple choice questions regarding spanning bases and linear combination. Question number five. Which of the following would be a linear combination of A, B and C, D vectors where A, B, C, D are non-zero? Explain. So we have four choices and these are the two vectors which are going to span something, right? And what can it span? That is what we are trying to figure out. And the choices are A0, B0, AB, or all of them, right? So select the right answer and provide an explanation. Question 6 is, which of the following would be a linear combination of? So we have two vectors here. One is minus 1, 0, 1. The other one is 0, 1, 0. And here, um, well, this is not required here. Explain. So this is not required. Okay. And the four choices are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, none of them or all of them. Think about it and then write down your answer. Now, my solution is that for 5, now we say A, B, and C, D. So it seems that these are two vectors which can span everything in X, Y plane. But we have not mentioned whether they are scalar multiple or not. Right? We really don't know. We just know that they are non-zero vectors. But we don't know whether C is a scalar multiple of A or not. That is kind of critical, right? If C and D are scalar multiples of A and B, then they cannot span all of them, right? In that case, they can only span C. And that is why that is the safe and the correct choice. So A, B can span A, B for sure, right? Even if C, D is a scalar multiple of A, B, right? So that is why in this question, the choice will be A, B and not anything else or all of them. So be careful about it. It's a very thoughtful question. Question 6 is, which of the following would be a linear combination of these two vectors, right? So now if you see the two vectors, they can span a plane in R3, correct? And in this case, we have different choices, right? None of them, all of them, and then 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, minus 1. Now, think about it like this. Uh, we know this is 1, so it could be made to anything in the center. That is not a problem here. So, that part is okay. You can always multiply the y component by anything and get your result. So, y is not a problem. It could have been anything here, right? Now, but the thing is, these two have opposite signs. So whatever you multiply by, they should have opposite signs, right? So the only combination could be this. So they're opposite and equal. That is kind of important, right? So the vector which could be spanned is this, right? So that is the plane which they are trying to span, nothing else, right? So that is the plane. So that is the answer for six. Thank you.